Short peeps, how's it going? Tifty here, and today we've got another map run through for you. And this time round, we're looking at Borneo. As always, we're on the offensive, and basically in these videos, they're fairly straightforward. I just talk a little bit about kind of my thinking, uh, why I'm doing things, and hopefully this will bring to the surface some of the more kind of nuanced techniques that relate to the demo man's gameplay. So this game went pretty smoothly, but it, there was a few interesting moments. So I chose this one, uh, and let's jump straight in. So I always tend to use the left exit here, I don't really know why, but I do. I just like going up right round to the left of the map. I guess it gives me a better view of the kind of sentry nest, which we'll see in a second. And just helping my mates with that heavy there. Checking up in this room here, there's often people in there. Notice there's an NG here, taking out his dispenser. Uh, notice how I, if I see a class who's probably going to come into me. I put the sticky down kind of really close. I do it here again with the sniper. I put one down first, kind of directly in front of me in case he decides to charge me with his um, with his knife. Uh, and then when I realize he's not doing that, I can take him out and aim some more stickies around him. So my main obviously objective here is to try and take out this sentry nest. Um, I thought I could spam in pipes here, but I get a bit of damage. So I'm gonna retreat here. Three health, that's fine, not a problem. So that's all I need, mate. Just gonna flank back round. Uh, try and pick up some health. Pray to the lords of Gaben that I don't get hit. But yeah, lucky a medic joins up with me. So yeah, kind of just clearing the area. I notice a spy behind me. I want to kind of get on the car and just spam the crap out of this uh, room here because there's usually a sentry gun in there right in the corner. And as a demo man, it's actually not too tricky to take it out. Um, but it seems like it's either already gone or it wasn't there in the first place. So we're all good. Someone's using a mini sentry, um, so they're fairly easy to take out. And the spy got better of me here. When I am dead though, it's kind of worth watching players around where you die, just to see what's going on around the front line. This kind of just helps you be prepared for when you, you get back to the front line, if you see what I mean. Couldn't be bothered to finish off that, uh, that spy, you know, he's weak, he's probably long gone, I'll, I'll even be. So at this point you can usually push to the corner quite happily so I'm just moving like a loony because I know that spy is probably somewhere so I'm moving really erratically, um, checking for spies, also want to avoid any headshots. Usually there's a hold at the top of this bridge but because there isn't I'm actually going to be quite aggressive here and run forward a bit. Throw some spam, some pipes down that tunnel just because you know I've got the chance there's no sentry on the left so it will continue to push them back so hopefully this will make them think you know they can't push out of the tunnel and set up a defence here, so they'll move back a bit. Yeah, so that's gone pretty swimmingly so far. A couple of last minute ditch attempts by Pyros there. It does start to get a little bit more tricky as we go forward. Being really cautious now, often when you've just capped a point, there'll be a sudden, another sudden push, so I'm just kind of getting back a little bit. This sniper was causing me a lot of pain, so I decided to try and jump uh, towards him and fail miserably, but I managed to take him out in the end anyway. So yeah, I'm still not happy about going down this tunnel. There's a lot of action in there. I want to make sure, you know, not just charging in and hoping for the best. Uh, once we've got a bunch of our team members here, I feel like we're in a good position. Uh, just sticky sniping these guys on the right, these soldiers. Here I was taking damage and I had no idea where from, I just couldn't see the guy, so I just pegged it out of there, crouched and prayed in front of that medic, um, but unfortunately he didn't quite grab me in time. Turns out it was that pyro, for some reason I just couldn't see him, but he was uh, poking me with his little flamey balls. Okay, that's an awkward. Rolling back out, I did that sticky jump, it's a bit of a risky one, there isn't a load of health around here, but I know there's a medic, so I was able to do that and I, I thought he'd probably grab me. Going up the right here, I often do this. He definitely looks like a spy, doesn't he? It's not just me, right? I don't think he was, though, in the end. Um, yeah, just clearing this right corridor. Um, this is the route I tend to go, because it gives you a really good view down onto the doorway here. 
which means if you put stickies just to the right of the doorway, if anyone charges out, you can often take them out quite easily. So yeah, I, I like to put a few down there, check the area out, and then you know go back to the car and push it. So again, normally, just outside of this door, there's a ridiculously tough hole that's usually a really tricky choke point to push out of. But again, we were really lucky this time. Suspiciously lucky. So I'm guessing maybe the engineers are set up at the last point. I'm just throwing stickies down in the positions where normally enemies come from. Often you see some guys coming from the right there. So I thought I'd push as far as I can and just see what we can get away with. Turns out, yeah, there's quite a few guys around that doorway, so I, I kind of moved back, get healed up a bit. So at this part of the map, I tend to use this right route. I really love going this way. The main reason is because it gives you some really good angles to take out um, any sentry nests that are going on. It also gives you a really good um, position on this right spawn exit. And basically they're just less prepared for attack from this route. Obviously, once you've drawn attention to yourself, all these guys are coming after me. Um, got a Demonite, Pyro. I'm just being really cautious, setting down some precautionary traps in front of me. So if they do charge, like this guy here, he's, he's got his eye on me, but he's, you know, he can see that I'm putting sticky bombs down, so he's not charging me. Kind of trying to lure him in by like detonating and then hoping he doesn't see my new ones, but you know. Here he does try and come in at a funky angle, but I'm able to get that trap on him and he's really weak now, so he does retreat and I'm just desperate to kind of finish him off and just managed to finish him off there. So yeah, now things are a bit more chilled, just pushing forward slightly. I've taken out that little sentry on the left there. I feel like that's helped my team. The one tricky thing with the demo man is managing your ammunition. Basically when the stickies run out, you get really vulnerable. Um, and obviously when your pipes run out too. I was basically trying to control that right spawn exit with the ammo I had. I didn't want to just detonate one sticky at a time, that tiny amount of damage, that one they can dodge it and two it's not going to be very worrisome for them. So I actually try and get like two or three stickies down then throw some pipes in just to cause like a, a huge influx of damage. I don't know what I'm talking about but you know what I mean like just suddenly a, a huge burst of damage, that's it, burst damage, rather than just trickling that damage in. But anyway, I'm sinking back up with my team. Suddenly there's loads of us on this right side now, so that's cool. I actually don't like being with everyone all the time because, you know, you're just going to draw attention to yourself. But, you know, it feels like this we're doing well here. This might be the last push. I'm actually going to... They've got that right side covered. Just going to pop some stickies down on the other side and then, yeah, push to the last point and job is a good one. Teams might have been ever so slightly not quite balanced perfectly, but it was fun. I definitely had to try, you know, I wasn't just chilling and rolling along. Let me know what map you want to see next. And in the future, I'll try and choose a closer game where it's, you know, a lot more challenging. So hopefully that will bring out some more interesting aspects of the gameplay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.